a few days ago, I did a live stream with some friends. Upon reviewing the live stream afterwards, I noticed that my audio was out of sync with my video. Now, normally when I record an OBS, this is not an issue because I use the sync offset feature like I'm sure many of you do. However, they use StreamYard. StreamYard was connecting right to my camera and my microphone separately, which did not include all the setup work that I've done in OBS. Now you can use OBS as a virtual camera. However, by default, it is video only. It does not send out the audio. So what you can do is you can download software like this. This is a virtual audio cable that you can redirect your audio output to. That allows you to reroute your audio to something that an external application like StreamYard can connect to. And in my tests, yeah, the audio was redirected. And so any audio that was filtered and processed in OBS would get picked up in StreamYard. However, I still had delay issues and this is why. So any effects, any filters you put on the audio will get processed. So the compressor, limiter, equalizer, all that, when I did my tests, that would come through to StreamYard just fine. However, the problem is the virtual cable redirect ignores this sync offset. This is what's necessary to make sure my audio somewhat matches my video. Well, I'm using a Rodecaster Duo that does have an output delay feature. However, I ran into issues with that as well. So let's take a look at my Rodecaster Duo. I'm gonna go device configuration, outputs, processing, output delay. In theory, I could turn this on and offset all my audio delay. Except if we take a look at the documentation, it tells us this function only applies to outputs that are configured to use the main mix. It won't work with custom submixes. All right, so if we take a look at the routing, I usually use USB chat output, which is set to mix minus. This is what I prefer. Now, they said, according to the documentation, if you set this to main mix, the output delay will work. In my tests, this did not work with USB chat output. It did, however, work with USB main stereo output. As long as main mix, I did some tests, mix minus didn't work, and of course, custom did not work. This was the only one that worked. I want the flexibility of being able to use mix minus or custom as I see fit. So I'm gonna set this back to mix minus and close out Road Central. So what do we do know? Well, we do know that filtered audio, processed audio will get sent out the virtual cable. Now there's not a lot of audio filters available by default in OBS. However, there is a catalog of extra filters that you can download. There's one in particular that I'm gonna show you in this video. The plugin that I found is called Audio Monitor. At the time of this video, it was version 0.8.5. I downloaded and installed it. And then back in OBS, what I did is I went to Filters and I applied the Audio Monitor. I set the monitor device to be my virtual cable. So right there where it says Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable. And then I set the delay to 245 milliseconds, which matches what I have set here. Okay, let's jump into StreamYard and do some tests. I'm gonna turn on my virtual camera. So I wanna make sure that the settings is set to OBS virtual camera and the VB audio virtual cable. Now what may happen when you first open StreamYard is it won't be set to your desired outputs. And when you set them, they still might not show up. Both the microphone and camera icon might be red. For me, I had to close and restart my browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome. All right, so we're gonna hit Enter Studio. I'm gonna add myself to the stage. I'm gonna hit Record, just like so. Now, real quickly, I'm actually going to take and set this to camera only because I want to do a sync. So I'm going to sync like this. All right, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Let's have a listen. It sounds sync. Let's actually zoom in here really close. So it's almost closed right up there. So it's just a little bit behind, but actually I think that's okay. That's a lot better than what it was. 
let's just see how this looks. Let's jump in to DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, I think that is close enough for streaming. So this is how I'm resolving my audio sync problem with StreamYard. I hope this information was useful to at least one person out there. Oh, as always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again next time.